Welcome to Numerical Methods and Computations. My name is Akusa Imano. You can also call me Kumbolo. And today, on a system of linear equations, we are going to look at Gaussian's elimination without pivoting. And on a system of linear equations, we have the direct method and we have the iterative method. The direct method provides a exact solution after a finite number of steps. And the iterative method also gives a sequence of approximate solutions. Today, whatever we do is under direct method. If you have a system like this, or a system like this, to solve either example 1 or example 2, it's very, very easy. To solve example 1, we start from equation 3 to equation 1. And to solve example 2, we start from equation 1 to equation 3. In example 1, to find S3 in equation 3, we divide both sides by 2 to get S3. And whatever value we get for S3, we put that value into equation 2 to find S2. And when we get S2, we put S2 and S3 into equation 1 to find S1. So we do what is called back substitution. So we start from 3, we move to 2, then we move to 1. And if you look at example 1, it is in the form of a triangle called the upper triangular system. Like this. So in example 2, to find S3 in equation 1, we divide both sides by 2. And whatever value we get for S3, we put that value into equation 2 to find S2. And when we get S2, we put S2 and S3 into equation 3 to find S1. So we do what is called the forward substitution. That is, we start from 1, we move to 2, then we move to 3. And if you look at the example, it is in the form of a triangle called the lower triangular system, like this. So let's solve example 1. So from equation 3, we have 2 as 3 is equal to 4. So to find S3, we divide both sides by 2. Then we get S3 is equal to 2. Then we put S3 is equal to 2 into equation 2 to find S2. And this is our equation 2. So wherever we see S3, we put 2 there. So we are going to get something like this. And when we solve this, we are going to get S2 is equal to negative 1. So we put S3 is equal to 2 and S2 is equal to negative 1 into equation 1 to find S1. This is our equation 1. So wherever we see S2, we put negative 1 there. And wherever we see S3, we put 2 there. So we are going to get something like this. And when we solve this, we are going to get S1 is equal to 13 over 2. So now we have S3 is equal to 2, S2 is equal to negative 1, and S1 is equal to 13 over 2. So we are having 13 over 2, negative 1, 2 transpose. What about if we are given a system like this? How are we going to solve it? Because this system is not in the form of an upper triangular system or a lower triangular system. So we have to find a way to reduce this system into an upper triangular system or a lower triangular system. Like I said, we are going to look at Gaussian's elimination. And under Gaussian's elimination, we have Gaussian's elimination without pivoting. Gaussian's elimination with partial pivoting and Gaussian's elimination with complete pivoting. But today we are going to look at Gaussian's elimination without pivoting. To use Gaussian's elimination to reduce this system into an upper triangular or a lower triangular system, we write our system in the form of a matrix. A S is equal to P, where A is the coefficient of the S values. For example, in equation 1, the coefficient of S1 is 1, 
S2 is negative 2 and S3 is negative 3. Also, equation 2. The coefficient of S1 is 3. The coefficient of S2 is 5. And the coefficient of S3 is 2. The same thing applies to equation 3. Then our S part is S1, S2, and S3. Then after the equal sign, we have our B part, which is 0, 0, negative 1. After we've done this, we write our matrix in augmented form. So we write only the A part and the B part. Next, we identify our leading diagonal. So this is our leading diagonal. And each element in the leading diagonal is called the pivot element. So we are going to use the pivot element to reduce our system in the form of an upper triangular system or a lower triangular system. But in this case, we are going to reduce our system in the form of an upper triangular system. So our goal is to reduce this side, this side, and this side to zero. But how are we going to do that? First, let's find a way to reduce 3 and 2 to 0 using the first pivot element. So what we have to do is to find a number that when we multiply it by the pivot element and add it to 3, we are going to get 0. And also we find a number that when we multiply it by the pivot element and add it to 2, we are going to get 0. I'm going to show you a way to do that easily. We want 3 to be 0. So we pick 3 and divide it by the pivot element and negate it. We are going to get negative 3 over 1, which is negative 3. Then when we get negative 3, we multiply it by rule 1. The pivot element is in rule 1. So negative 3 times rule 1. Then we add it to rule 2. Then we store our number in row 2. Next, we do the same thing here. So we want 2 to be 0. So we pick 2 divided by the pivot element. Then we negate it. So we are going to get negative 2 over 1, which is negative 2. So negative 2 times the pivot element. The pivot element is in row 1. Plus 2. We want 2 to be 0. So plus 2. 2 is in row 3. And we store a value in row 3. So let's slot in the values. So first we pick 1 and 3. So wherever we see row 1, R1, and wherever we see R2, we put those values there. So negative 3 times row 1 is 1 plus row 2 is 3. Then we are going to get 0. Next. We pick negative 2 and 5. So negative 3 times negative 2, that's row 1, plus 5. Row 2 equal to 11. So we do the same thing throughout. So we pick negative 3 and 2. So negative 3 and 2. We are going to get 11. And we pick the last one, 0 and 0. 0, 0. We are going to get 0. Then we do the same thing here. So first we pick 1. 1 is in row 1. Then we pick row 3 elements, which is 2. So 1 and 2, we slot it inside. Wherever we see R1, we put 1 there. Wherever we see R3, we put 2 there. So negative 2 times 1 plus 2. We are going to get 0. Then we pick the second values. Negative 2 and 3. We are going to get 7. Then negative 3 and negative 1. We are going to get 5. Then the last one. 0 and negative 1. So we are going to get negative 1. 
the matrix after reducing our first column will be this so the top one won't change but the values for row 2 and row 3 will change because we have gotten new values but if you look at this side we have turned this one to 0 and this one to 0 well, next we have to reduce this 7 here to 0 so to reduce 7 to 0 we pick 7 divided by 11 then we negate it that's 11 is our pivot element so 7 over the pivot element then we negate it so we get negative 7 over 11 too so negative 7 over 11 times root 2 plus 7 is in root 3 so plus root 3 then we store our value in root 3 now we can slot in the values We can start from here, but here we will get 0, 0, which will give us 0. So let's start from here. So we pick 11 and 7. Then we put it inside. So now this is root 2 and this is root 3. This will give us 0. Then next we pick 11 and 5. So negative 7 over 11 times 11 plus 5, which will give us negative 2. Then next we pick 0 and negative 1. So 0 and negative 1 will give us negative 1. The matrix after reducing the second column is this one. We have been able to reduce this side, this side, and this side to 0. Now we can write our matrix in the form of an upper triangular system and start solving it. So this is very very easy as we already know. So we can now use back substitution to solve. So from equation 3, we divide both sides by negative 2. Then we will get S3 is equal to 1 over 2. Then we put S3 is equal to 1 over 2 into equation 2 to find s2 this is equation 2 so wherever we see s3 we put half there so we are going to get something like this and when we solve this we are going to get s2 is equal to negative 1 over 2 so now we put s3 is equal to half and s2 is equal to negative 1 over 2 into equation 1 to find s1 this is our equation 1 so wherever we see s2 we put negative 1 over 2 there and wherever we see s3 we put half there so we are going to get something like this and when we solve this we are going to get s1 is equal to half hence our solution is 1 over 2 negative 1 over 2 1 over 2 transpose thank you very much please like and subscribe this video on youtube you can also share this video on your social media platforms if you subscribe immediately i do new videos you are going to be notified